Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and welcome to my channel. This video is about a bug that I found in the DJI Fly app version 1.6.12 that was released in August of 2022. This issue does not occur on every device, but it does occur on some. For example, it occurs on my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra running Android version 12. It does not happen on my Lenovo Tab, which is running Android version 9. So let's take a look at how the flight data center should function by looking at what happens in version 1.6.12 on my Lenovo tablet. All right, this is my Lenovo tablet. It's running version 1.6.12 and Android 9. Let's take a look to see what happens if we go into the profile and then we select more in the lower left portion of the DJI Fly app screen. Here we have my flight data center and the past flights that I've taken with my DJI Mavic 3. When we select a flight, it zooms into Africa and then to this location where the flight occurred. So this is the path that this drone took through this flight. Now imagine if I had lost control of the drone or it hit a tree or an object, I could use this map to locate the last location of the Mavic 3. So that's the normal operation of the flight data center. Now let's take a look at what happens on version 1.6.12 on my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. All right, so this is DJI Fly app version 1.6.12 on my Samsung Note 20 Ultra running Android 12. So let's exit out of this screen and go back into the profile. And in the profile, we select more to see my past flights in the flight data center. And on this Android 12 version, Samsung Galaxy Note 20, when I select any of these past flights to the continents of Africa and South America and the Chinese warning. So there's zero flight data. So if I lost my drone, I have no way to locate it. All right, since it didn't work normally, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and clear the cache, clear the data, remove app version 1.6.12, reboot the phone, reinstall version 1.6.12, and then see what happens. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going into the apps on my Android version 12 phone, looking for DJI Fly, and I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the data and clear out the cache. This is something often that DJI support will ask you to try or to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and beat them to the punch and do that in this video before we contact them. So there we go, remove the cache, remove the data, so there's no remnants of those things in the phone to mess something up. So now we're actually uninstalling the app. So now we've cleared the data, cleared the cache, and removed the app. Uh, now often they will ask if, whether you rebooted the phone or not. So we're gonna go ahead and power off the phone. Once the phone has been started, now we're starting clean. We have no data, we have no cache, we've removed the app. So now we're doing a clean install of DJI Fly. I'm going to my downloads to re-download version 1.6.12 or re-execute version 1.6.12. So I've gone ahead and selected that. And we're gonna go ahead and install it again. As you can see, I have permissions enabled in Chrome to install unknown apps. If you get a warning saying that you cannot install, then you'll have to give permissions to the web browser that you're using. So now I go ahead and select open. It's a clean install, so I have to go through these agreements. I'm selecting while using the app. We'll go ahead and allow that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and allow those uh, authorizations and select the next. And then I'm selecting not now for the improvement project. Then entered my email address and entering my password. Selecting next. Selecting OK. And then now selecting profile. Selecting more. It asked me if I want to take part in the flight record cloud synchronization. So we're going to do the flight record cloud synchronization. There are my past flights. And the moment of truth, I select one of these flights. What's going to happen?
back to the continents of Africa and South America and the Chinese warning. So this does not resolve the issue. So as of August 19th, 2022, when I created this video, there is no fix for this issue that I'm aware of. I did try to revert back to version 1.6.9 by doing a clean removal of data, cache, app, rebooting the phone, restarting the phone, installing 169. And of course, when I do that, it crashes every time I open it. So I cannot go back at this point to version 1.6.9. So be aware of this issue. Maybe you don't want to upgrade to 1.6.12 if your version 1.6.9 is actually successfully running on your phone. Um, if you do upgrade and have the same issue on your specific Android phone or tablet, reach out to DJI Support and let them know that you'd like this issue resolved. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in one of my future videos. Thank you for your support.